Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to somebody's house to work out what is wrong with their Dakin air conditioner that is not heating anymore. But what I wanted to say quickly before the video is the next few videos, I think um, you'll really enjoy. They are Dakin training videos. So I get questions from people and I, I hate even saying that because it sounds so cringe. But like I, I genuinely get people um, asking me a lot about specific Dakin faults. So I've decided that after this video, I'm going to make a few videos going in depth on how to um, like do s certain things. For example, the next video after this is the exact in depth way I diagnose a communication fault on a Dakin because there is a few certain things that I got taught that um, I think I, 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 I hate saying this stuff once again because it's also cringe but I think a lot of people don't know this um, so I'm going to go in depth for the communication faults like the U4s and whatnot next video the video after that is going to be about inverter checkers how so, so if you want on a Dakin if you want to use an inverter checker you don't just unplug the compressor plug in the inverter checker and put it on cooling. You don't do that. Um, there's a certain mode that you got to put it on. I'm going to go in depth on how to do that. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, there's going to be a few Dakin training videos after this video, which I think a lot of people will enjoy. But yeah, this video is also cool. But um, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that before we get into this. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you have a good weekend and I hope you're staying warm. See ya. Also, a little disclaimer. I'm not the perfect tech by any stretch of the imagination or I'm just giving my two cents worth because people are asking me. Enjoy the video. So. Alright so this thing stopped working um, about five days ago and it's got an E5 error so nothing's happening inside so I'm going to come outside and have a look. Alright, so E5 just refers to an inverter compressor overload. So what I want to do is find out if it's the compressor or the inverter board. So what you need to do um, with Dakin, the correct way to do it for Dakin is you go and put the indoor unit on fan mode. And when it's on fan mode, then you initiate a test. And then you come outside and wait three minutes and then this will start lighting up so that's the correct way that they teach you um, a lot of people just put it on cooling that isn't like it doesn't send the correct hertz or whatever and sometimes can damage the inverter checker so you put it on fan mode first and then put it in a test mode which i'll show you 
All right, it's all good. Let's go put it on that. All right, so turn on, select fan operation. Press the mode button and temp button simultaneously. Comes up with a zero, zero. As you can see, the left one's blinking. You press mode. The right one's blinking. Press mode. The seven shows. When the seven shows, you press the on off button. And press start. And we'll go outside. Alright, so outside, it's been more than three minutes and it's doing nothing. Alright, so that's doing nothing. So I'm gonna make a video um, going more in depth on how to correctly do this on a Dakin unit. Um, but for now, I'm gonna take that off, just check the compressor. But it's um it's looking like it's the inverter board. And there's a lot of spiders and stuff. I don't know, maybe something's crawled over the board. We'll have a look, but first I want to check the compressor. So, what I did then was just put it on ohms, checked across all three points, and it's 0 0.9 ohms on every single one, exactly the same, which is exactly how it should be. So, the compressor is fine, it is an inverter board. So, surprise, surprise. Anyway, let's open the top up and have a look. All good, 240 volts, I'll check the fuses. All good. All good. All right, so I've confirmed that it is the inverter board that has failed. So I'm gonna put this back together. This is a real estate job. So we're gonna get a price, quote them up on that. And also a price to replace and they can make the decision. So yeah, inverter board. Like I said, there is a certain way that you are supposed to use the inverter checkers on a Dakin I'll go more in depth in that and show you 
what it, what happens because on this one you saw it do nothing so I'll, I'll show you what it should do and um but i'll put that in a different video that is just for that so but anyway press is fine board's cooked that's it now i'm just about to pack up and i want to put this down and i've noticed that this has been potentially replaced before the screws left from what looks like a previous repair which is very interesting anyway i'll look more into that but yeah i just saw that very interesting So as I pack this up, I was just going to say, just to sort of go a bit more in depth, um, this basically comes up with an E5 fault when it detects overcurrent from the compressor. So that could absolutely be, and I've seen firsthand that the board is faulty, but it could genuinely be that the compressor is seized um they put that code in for a reason but generally what's more common <laughs> is the inverter board's dead but you should always check to see is this compressor okay so i've just checked the windings but um yeah there could be an issue um another thing i've seen that there is a board, sorry, there's this stuff in here. So the board, this could potentially be the second board already. So when you see that, um, you should really start to think, is there an underlying issue, for example? So for me, like if I change this board, if that's the way they want to go, I will absolutely be checking a few things. For example, the EEV, I'll be checking that. I'll be checking the four-way valve solenoid valve, solenoid coil, sorry. Um, I'll be checking fan motor. I'll be checking a few things to make sure that there's nothing taking out that board because that is very odd that this particular model has done two boards. It, I feel like there's an underlying issue here. But for now, what is causing it, I believe, is a faulty board. Um, and I believe there's probably something deeper so before I get into testing all that I just want to see what they want to do because this thing is getting on so we'll just leave it at that for now but before I replace the board I'll absolutely be checking stuff I'm just not confident they even want to do that so let me have a chat with them and yeah that'll be it